Hans Learns HTML. Welcome to the course. My name is Steph, and I'm going to be your teacher. And I'm here with my partner Hans. I'm so excited to learn. So in this course, over the next several videos, we're going to learn basic HTML. What does this stand for? HTML is the language that's used to build websites, and it's short for Hypertext Markup Language. So we're going to learn a new language. Exactly. So I had to do that once. You know, I'm from Austria. Hypertext Markup Language is it's quite a mouthful in terms of what it all is. So I'm not going to get into it now. You're going to learn about the details about what this means as, as we go through the course. My style of teaching is very hands-on. I think the best way to learn is to just do something. My name is Hans, so I kind of understand that. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into building our very first web page. Right. But before I do that, I just want to explain, I am using Windows 7 for all the demonstrations. Wait a minute. What about the Mac? Whether you're on Windows or Mac, it's not going to make a difference because web design is universal and HTML is a universal language. So this is Mac head friendly. Exactly. So whether you're using Windows 7, Mac, Windows 8 or XP, you'll be fine because we're using software to build our websites that is built into every computer. That's great. So the first thing you want to do is go to your desktop and we're going to create a folder. So on Windows, you right click and you hit new folder. It's brand new. I'm just going to call it websites. Right. So open that up. And in here, we want to create a new text document. So on Windows, I'm going to hit the right click again. Right. And hit new. And of the options that you have here, and it may be different on your computer depending what programs you have installed, you want to just select text document. Text document. You don't want to select rich text or Word document. No, just, want to, the, just the poor one. Exactly. The plain old simple text document. Right. So we select that. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to call it page.html. What does that mean? Well, we changed it from .txt to .html because we're by doing this, we're telling the computer that this is an HTML page. HTML means a web page? Exactly. So let me just hit enter here. Now Windows is asking us, do you want to change the file extension? A file extension is anything past the period. So before we had .txt, now it's .html. So it says, if you change the file extension, the file might become unusable. What? Are you sure you want to change it? So it's a warning. It's a warning, so don't worry about it. We're just going to say yes. Oh, it changed it. it changed the symbol. You see the icon, it changes. Yeah. So what does that change to? It changes to... Let me just drag it out here so it's a little bit bigger. It changes to the Internet Explorer icon. And the reason it does that is because Windows now thinks that this is an HTML page. And it right. thinks it's an HTML page because... Because you, you called it that. Exactly. We gave it the .html extension. Right. You see, Windows and Mac, they use the extensions of the file, anything past that period, to decide what kind of file it is. But if you call me a girly man, I'm not going to agree, right? But in this situation, whatever you call it, the computer reads it that way. Exactly. Right. Let me, let me to make my point, let me just turn this back to TXT, which is short for text, and see what happens. Right. We get that familiar warning again. And so I just click yes, and look what happens. Well, it does whatever you tell it. Yeah, it turns into a little notepad. That's the uh, that's the uh, that's the symbol or the icon for Notepad. Right. So if you look here, even down here in Windows, this is the plain Notepad. You see that? It looks like we got the image here. So I'll change it back to .html again. It is whatever you say it is. Exactly. So I like get... this. It's this control. So here we go. The page.html, you see we got the uh, Internet Explorer icon back again. Right. So now it's like a, it's reading it as a web page. Exactly. 